Um, I think it's pretty easy to think that Dr. Pearson is another chiropractor. You kind of go in, it seems like a quaint office space. He seems like another nice guy. But when you start working with him, you quickly see that his techniques are a lot different yeah. than your other chiropractors that you would typically see. I've actually had the chance to see many chiropractors and, you and I, I have been through this a lot. We've been through a lot and I would say the the best one next to Dr. Pearson was actually one that I met in Superior, a city near nearby. And she actually does a lot of the things that Dr. Pearson does, but she doesn't do the test to make sure that it's actually working in my body. That's a great reason. So she, she doesn't actually know if all the nice things that she's doing to my skull and my hips are actually making a difference, if she needs to do more, if she needs to pivot. And that's what I've noticed has been like the difference with this work, with her work and, and Dr. Pearson. Dr. Yeah. Pearson is like testing continuously to make sure that my body is responding correctly to his yes. stimulus. And he has many times said, oh, actually interesting. You need a little bit more today or you need a little bit something different today. And like every session I go into with him is slightly different, tailored to my needs at that moment. Yeah. And I come in over time seeing that, oh, I'm actually like, my indicators are coming back a lot more positive over time. Yeah. Another interesting thing that's different about him versus other chiropractors, is like he's trying to get you to stop seeing him. <laughs> like, he doesn't want you to come in forever and ever, amen. You know, he wants you to come in for a certain amount of time so he can get you going. I love um, it. And then he, he's like, look, you don't have to come see me forever. Like, come see me every once or two, every two weeks or every month. And that's kind of where I'm getting to now. Like, now that he feels like my yes. hips are stable, my pelvis is stable, he's like, okay, now we can... And that's why your mouth uh, is working. And that's why my mouthpiece is working. All and the tell me about the, your, your experience with the DNA now. What's yeah, your... well, well, what do you want to know? <laughs> Just, well, first of all, reflect a little bit about your dentist. Who said yeah, you well, no one can be like my dentist, Dr. Smiley. <laughs> okay, that's the moment is That's over. true, but... Um, and I, and I do mean that I haven't had the chance or ever in my life to meet a doctor, a dentist like Dr. Smiley, but oh, for sure the, the appliance that she's prescribed me is actually made a big difference in my smile, my palate. There's so much more room in my Your mouth. TMJ, my, remember it was my, locked my, up? Girl, I always forget the TMJ because <laughs> I, that was so long ago. I <laughs> like, know, like I, that, that was what inspired me to come in. I was like, man, my, my jaw hurts a lot and my old chiropractor was like you need to see a tmj specialist and i was looking for the best tmj specialist in town and dr smiley's name came up i had no idea she was going to do what she did yeah and within a few weeks my tmj pain was gone now mm -hmm. i don't even i can't even remember that i had TMJ and remember pain. you couldn't breathe out of your right nose i couldn't breathe out of both nostrils today i came in and yeah. dr smiley showed me Jeez. i'm actually breathing a lot better through both before i couldn't breathe at all through both nostrils and you but had now asthma I can attacks. Breathe. and I had asthma attacks now I'm just like I'm chilling you know I'm, I'm breathing and yes. I'm chilling <laughs> this, this is amazing I mean yeah. you, you, like I said you've been one of the best patients I've had because you went through just everything your mind functional therapy mm -hmm. your tongue posture your tongue awareness yes your posture has improved and that's really what I'm trying to get all yeah. the dentists to see when a TMJ locks up it's the body that is just it's at its all, max it's all from the the Thank hips you. and up. Like you, you lived gotta it, start. right? Yeah. You lived it, and your posture is amazing. I mean, I cannot get over how nice and straight your head is. Yeah. Well, yeah. that was gonna be the next thing I was gonna say. Like, <laughs> I also forget that I was here when I first came in. Like, my natural pose was to to do this and be like, hi, you know, like this was how I normally walked around. And people even told me that, like, why do you walk around like this? And I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but then I came in here and slowly, like I, my head has started to be a little bit more upright and we're still working on adjusting yeah. it. So that way I stand straighter, but I mean, it's not here. I mean, what is this like you a 45 like, degree angle? <laughs> there's, a splints, you know? there's a lot of splints in the system when it doesn't work, when the body's out of alignment, it's telling us, I have no more capacity to adapt. Yeah. And all we did is just allowing your body come back to the homeostasis. So yeah. like I said, um, everything about you has been just textbook perfect. You're the amazing patient. So we're still working to get you to that perfection. Yes. Um, but, but, but this has been amazing. It's been amazing. And thank you so much, Magic. Because a lot of people need to hear. Patients, yeah. doctors, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And this was not paid. No. <laughs> He doesn't you even see? know I'm talking about him right now. I mean, honestly, I, he's, he's, a, he's a miracle worker for he sure. He is a miracle worker. Unassuming, and you would be surprised when you start working with him. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. Amazing. I cannot post this because he gets so much busy. I cannot even get an appointment with him. Yeah. But despite Same. my own judgment, I will. So. I'm like, it's so, it's sometimes it feels hard to get an appointment with him, but you just got to talk to Anna at the front desk, and she will work <laughs> magic for you. And That's definitely right. go in. You're not... You may waste your money with other chiropractors feeling like you always have to go in for the rest of your life, but Dr. Pearson 
especially with Dr. Spiley working on you as well, like you will get to a point where you will be healed and you can oh stop gosh. going in all the time. You just made my day. You just <laughs> totally made my day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I can call those shoes for me. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So Meiji is um, just stand right over here for me so that we're going to do some testing. She's been seeing Dr. Pearson and we're just checking some ascending, checking her hip because she has some hip issues. Now hold firm for me. Good. It's nice and stable. Lock your knees out. And hold firm. So she has no ankle or hip issues kind of um, sending problems out. So I'm going to go ahead and put the pressure here. And swallow. Wonderful. Push against me. So she's weaker on the left side. All right. Push against me. We just one on the right side. So we're going to go ahead and give her two little bite stick supports on this side. Right? Check in again. Okay, hold firm. Nice and strong here. Hold firm. Nice and strong here. Bring your hands forward and hold firm. It's not affecting your hip either. So we're going to go ahead and try the other side just to be sure. Okay, ready? So I'm going to test one side first. All right, push against me. <laughs> okay, not a bit of chance. Push again. <laughs> and let's see what it does to her hip. Okay, push against me. <laughs> there is no way. So what I did with her DNA appliance, I adjusted it so that it only touches on the left side, similar to what we did here with the stick. Go ahead and put that in your mouth. So we're instructing her not to wear it during the day, or not wear it during the day without the lower one for a few hours because she's very stable. You want to check? Ready? Get it. Swallow. And now, uh, okay. And back down. No, it's perfect. Good. All right. Push against me. Push against me. Good. Nice and strong. Push against me. Nice and strong. Bring it up forward. Nice and strong. Okay. So what do I have to do? Where's your lower one? Oh, uh, put it in my box. Okay. So I'm gonna have her stick the bottom one on top of it, so that would change the position. This is why we don't want to wear them together at this stage. Everything was good until now, right? All we did is just put the bottom one in. All right. Ready to go? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. Okay, let's go. And also, the way she's kind of holding her head away from it. Yeah. Okay, hold her, hold her. Okay, hold her. No way. All right. Hold her. Hold her. There's no way. Take it out. And I, and we just swallow and reset everything. Just put it back on the box. Or anywhere right there. All right. Okay. Ready to go? Hold her. Hold her. Nice. Um, that, that's pretty much what we did. Just take off one millimeter on the other side so the body's referencing to go back there, and that we're going to continue doing until she does it. And what I'm seeing also is how she's able to hold her head here. Opening has improved. She used to go to one side and had a locked TM joint on that side. All of that is improved. You know I, mean? <laughs> I have. <laughs> there was so much pain here. <laughs> yeah. She came in with pain and locked jaw, and um, we opened it up by just stabilizing the hip. So, thank you, Meiji. Thank you, Karen. <laughs>